What's up StarCraft fans, they are doing a challenge. How fast can you grind a newly prestiged commander from level 1 to level 15? So this is how it works. We queue up for Cradle of Death Brutal Plus 6. The ally has to be a Karax player who is at least level 90. And uh, the challenge is, yeah, how fast can you level a commander from level 1 to level 15? So how we do this is, first we queue up for Cradle of Death Brutal Plus 6. And then, yeah, check the mutators. Pure Fire Beam, Twister, okay this is fine, pull all workers at the beginning, get the truck here, so the key here is that the mutators themselves have to not affect the early game, so Twister might actually throw a wrench in the works, actually, I think there's a mutator safety zone, so what will, what will happen is Karax will shoot each construct 8 times and then we leave the game. Karak will shoot the truck 8 times, we put the trucks in the circle, and then we leave the game. So look at that. Uh, we get a bunch of VXP. No, 19800. Anyway, we do retry Brutal Plus. To reset the same mutators as before, I think the holiday bonus is gone. So yeah, uh, 19800 VXP for each game. Because what happens is, when we do the first objective, we get partial points from that. And since it's Brutal plus 6, we get even more partial points. So the, the key here is just leave the game as fast as, as, as soon as you put the trucks in the circle so that you already get EXP accrued. And then, um, yeah, just r rinse and repeat because this is the fastest way currently to level up from 1 to 15. And you also need a Karax player. The most important thing here is a Karax player. Who will basically do all the work for you. So yes, this is absolutely getting carried. It's also the fastest way to level up. So yeah, my my uh my standing offer until I finish leveling on North on the North American server is that any Karax player who can help me level up for 1 to 15 using this method. I pay them two dollars. That's that's my standing offer. It's uh, yeah, it's actually good. It's actually literally pay to win, but I mean I think I think it's fair because it's basically uh, I'm paying out the uh, the revenue I earn from the videos I make, and so I think it's just cost a cost of producing my videos because without this method, I would probably not be able to release. A commander prestige video once per day. So yes, for those of you who are asking how I level up my commander so fast, this is how I do it. So this is quite repetitive and it gets pretty boring pretty fast. So what I do here is uh, whenever I do this, usually I have music on in the background, maybe I'm watching a YouTube video or maybe I'm even doing a quiz while, uh, while doing this. So look at the XP. Main objective, difficulty bonus, and war chest. That's a ton of VXP, 19,800 per game. And all the, all the stats that you can see is characters get two, two kills, one for each construct, and then leave the game. And just rinse and repeat that until we reach level 15. Yeah. It, it, it does get quite boring quite fast, so I do recommend if you want to do this, first of all, get a Karax partner who knows how this works. And B, prepare to do something in the background, maybe watch TV, have some music on, maybe read a book, or do your homework, or do your actual work at home, if you're using that setup. Maybe have Discord open, chat, chat up some friends. What I do is, sometimes when I do this on stream, I it turns into a just chatting stream, because it basically... Basically, just uh, it's basically all about just chatting with uh, chatting with my viewers. This one's a little slow. So the standard here, the standard here is we complete the mission before a minute, because if you think about it, it's twenty thousand exp per game, and the game lasts about a minute. So, including the loading screen time, and the menu time, it lasts about. 1 to 1 and a half minutes. So if you think about it, it's 20,000 EXP extrapolated. If you do it on a permit basis, that's about what? 15,000 per minute? 
If you extrapolate over length over the length of over length of a regular game, that's three hundred thousand EXP. Imagine that in a regular game, you earn about fifty thousand EXP. And with War Chest, I think that's about, that goes up to around seventy thousand, sixty seventy thousand per game. But over the same length of time, using this method, you stand to earn about three hundred. 300,000 EXP Which is like 5 times How much you usually earn So this is 5 times as fast as regular grinding And The video timer I made this very deliberate with not much of an intro because The video timer Is going to be the same as the actual timer so you can see 5 minutes, 6 minutes into the game already, I'm already level 3 So yes, this is a testament to how fast this works so we will see after 20 minutes how much I've leveled and yeah compare that to how much you level after a single game. Again, we just do this. So the uh, the real thing here is consistency. You have to get this consistently. With uh, with how much I've done this, I've already made benchmarks. The fastest possible time I've done for this for this grinding approach is 38 seconds in a single map that's the fastest possible uh, time and my ally row 2 is uh, the fastest doing it, 39 seconds so I've classified the uh, the time brackets into ranks so S rank is 38 or 39 seconds if you go past 40 seconds you're a god, you're a god grinding, you're S, S rank if you go from 40 seconds to 42 seconds, that's A rank. Very good, that's very good. That's a normal human rank. When I tried helping others do the Cradle of Carax Prestige, my times average about 39 to 41 seconds. So yeah, I'm not a god at this grinding, but I'm pretty decent. B rank is 43 to, uh, 43 to 50 seconds. That's what I call B rank. If it's slower than 50 seconds, I just call that unranked. It's uh, it'll be kind of slow. It, it's full of mistakes, but it's still it's still good because it's still faster than regular game grinding. Look at that, 39 seconds. My ally is very consistent in doing this, which is why I asked him to do this for me because the challenge here is to level up a commander as fast as I can with the. Uh, yeah, with an ally who is willing to do it. By the way, I am in fact uh, paying Row Two, but our setup is that he gave me a uh, a charity, the uh, Anti Malaria Foundation, I think. So I will donate the proceeds of his grind to that game, or to that game, to that uh, to that foundation. Oh, this is uh, not this is not ideal. Bit of lag, a lot of lag actually. Okay, the game timer is still running. I don't think it actually uh, cost me any time. You can actually aim this. You can actually aim the truck. The uh, the vector is around the center of the dot to around uh, where your command center is. That should put it right right where the truck right where the uh, uh, construct is. Look at that, forty seconds. If you're good at aiming, you can actually complete this in four actions. I've actually done that before while I was bored and I was leveling zero tool. With four with zero tool, the map the map is actually fog of war, not black. The mini map, right? The, the mini map is fog of war, so you can actually just right click at the exact spot where the construct is, and you can complete the map in forty seconds, or four actions rather, four actions. So that's one action every ten seconds. <laughs> that's amazing. So first action, if you want to do this in four actions, is select the workers, then wait for the truck. Right click on the truck, then select the truck. The last action will be right clicking the truck on the uh, on the spot where the construct is. I have done that before, but will not do that here. Just because I'm doing a challenge of how fast I can level this up. There we go, 39 seconds. Very consistent. I like I like I really like how my ally is very consistent at this. Look at that, level five already. And we're not even 10 minutes into the video. Do you see how, the, do you see how efficient this is? 
So using this method, I think uh, the fast I've done is uh, less than an hour, I think. So just check the length of the video and uh, just check, the, just check the, the length of the video. That will be how, basically how long it takes for me to grind from level 1 to level 15. And uh, yeah, so 10 minutes into this, I'm already level 5. So in about another 10 minutes, I think I'll be level 8 or something. Because yeah, as you go up in levels, the required EXP per level goes up. So I think level around level 8-ish seems, uh, seems about right for how much EXP I earn. There we go, 39 seconds. A little bit of lag there. Did you see that? There's a bit of lag before the circle spawn, even though the construct was already dead. As I mentioned before, the key here is consistency. Even though it's quite boring, in order to reap the benefits, you have to be still consistently around 40-ish seconds in order to really, really extract the power. But again, C rank is uh, 50 seconds, or yeah, 50 seconds and, and slower. So if, as long as it's still within a minute, 50 seconds a minute, that's still decent. You, there's definitely mistakes along the way, if uh, if it lasts fifty seconds, but it's still you know the fast. Even if it goes past a minute, I think it's still efficient as long as you still yeah. As long as you keep doing this method and you exit before five minutes into the game, I think four minutes or five minutes in the game, you will be more efficient than grinding in a twenty minute regular game. If you're uh, if you're doing a lock and load or a sky of aim on cheese with an abathur, the time there for grinding is about eight minutes. So it's still efficient, and you get close to full exp because yeah, you just queue lock and load over and over again, and it's it's faster. But you don't get the random map exp, so it kind of uh, translates to about three or four minutes. If you do lock and load, you have to do this. I think. Lock, the Lock and Load or Cradle of Characters are two or three times slower than, uh, than this method. This is the fastest method. And using this method, I've been converted, guys. I used to, not, I used to think Carax is, uh, is a bad commander because he's underpowered. But now using this, look at, look, look, look at Carax go. Carax is now my favorite commander. Look at that. 40 seconds. So... Yeah, 12 minutes in, I'm already level 6, 13 minutes in rather. Uh, again, I just look at the timer in OBS, you can check the timer for yourself to see how uh, how fast this leveling is. It's quite bonkers, level 6 already. I might have to dial it in, no, nah, I think, yeah, I think I'll end up right around level 8 by the time we hit the 20 minute mark. I think the halfway point for this method is level, uh, the halfway point from leveling, uh, Commander from 1 to 15 is around level 10 or 11 ish. So once we hit level 10 or also hit level 11, we'll, we'll have a rough guess of uh, how long it takes. And uh, oh, by the way, another thing I like to do is actually mute stone. Just mute stone because I find that one of the things that makes it even more repetitive is when I hear uh, the music and the dialogue. For the grind. So what I like to do is just mute this, have my own music running in the background, and uh, yeah, just you know, watch TV. You know, even just mute muting the music will uh, will kind of take away from how uh, from how repetitive and grindy this is. This is in fact very grindy, but I have to do it because uh, when I make videos, for example. I plan to make videos for upcoming mutations and make videos on the Asia server of commanders. I'd like to be able to use the commanders who are actually good. Or I'd, I'd like to be able to use the prestige, the commander prestige that are actually good for a given mutation. For example, tomorrow. Actually, let me, uh, let me open up this thing. Let me show you guys. Oh, for that. It is kind of what I do to 
Yeah, the circle took a little while up here, didn't it? So 15 minutes into the game, we are level 7. Yeah, I think it's about right. Let me find my, uh, let me find my forum post, New Mutations, and show you that. This is actually what my stream looks like when I'm doing the Cradle of Death uh, Karax thing. So, the, uh, this chat box here, this chat box is where my chat is, this is my latest info, this is the number of trees I've donated for the week, and the game is just here for, my, for the rest of my stream to watch. So, let me actually uh, check out, again, the mutators. So next week we do Beggars Can't Be Choosers. I will do this once again on the Asia server. I'll probably do, do Stepboy for that. And the good news for Stepboy is I don't need Prestigious to be effective. I think Signal Savant might be good, but the, the problem is I will need Super Gary, because Super Gary has detection. So as awesome as the, uh, the Stetzel from Super Gary is, or from, from, uh, from Signal Savant is, I will need Super Gary because Super, Super Gary will, will provide the detection and the extra charge of Egorb to clear out the mines. So I think on Asia server, I will do Beggars Can't Be Choosers as that boy to uh, basically minimize my pain. Remember guys, I do these mutations at, at 2 a.m. I One of the, uh, one of the uh, most frequent feedbacks I've, got, I've gotten from this week's mutation, which I think is uh, the Donny Vermilion one, Coordinated Defense, is that I've been complaining a lot about how my ally is helping me. It's not it's not the fact that my ally is helping me, guys. I've complained because I'm trying to put effort into it. I'm trying to collect crystals, and I've gotten zero uh, my allies forgotten to put his uh make his workers follow the truck. My allies forgotten. Make his workers follow the truck, but I think it will it will be fine as long as he bursts down relatively fast. Yeah, it's fine. Look at that, 38 seconds even. That's the fastest time. Uh, remember what I said, guys. 38 seconds is the fastest possible time in the hundreds of times. You might also notice that just be fast. <laughs> yeah, it, it is true. The workers are just a safety precaution because the workers tank for the the workers tank the damage for the truck. So the workers actually add a time buffer in case you can't do this at 38 seconds a game. And yeah, it's also something else to do, you know? Because... What else do you do during 38 seconds? To be honest, consistently fast enough. Yeah. As long as you're fast enough, like my ally here, row 2. You shouldn't have any problems. Even without following the following SEVs onto the truck. Versus them really fast. So a trick for Karax, if you're doing this as Karax, a trick for doing it is hold shift while losing Orbital Strike. If you hold shift, it will just queue up, look at that, 18 minutes and uh, we're almost level 8. I think it'll be, I think it'll definitely be true that by the time we hit the uh, the 20 minute mark, I'll be right around level 8-ish. So yeah, the challenge. I think we'll finish with, uh, with the holiday bonus. We can do this around sub one hour but now that the holiday bonus is gone i think the uh the grinding time for for this approach will be around uh about an hour and 10 minutes ish i figured out where to click nice for my side i figured it out about uh a, a week ago but good job to you you've been doing this for like two days so now that you know in two days i, I think that's pretty good that's pretty good actually Come on, move it with your truck, my dude. <laughs> uh, bit of a, a bit of a gaff there, but doesn't matter because we still get level eight at the 19 minute mark. <laughs> I mean, we'll still be level eight, just slightly further in. So yeah, I think my prediction will be spot on. Look at that, guys. Me being correct about co-op, it, it's just one of those things that feels right about the world. Anyway, I think by the time I reach my bot. I'll still be, I'll still be, uh, grinding, grinding prestige and commanders on the Asia server. So I might have to uh, think of something creative here. I might still use Dukov. So if it's still alive, it does tiny patrol. Well, what I'd like to do 
the the patrol is the right idea. Actually, let me uh, let me zoom in on the uh, StarCraft screen again. If it's still alive, uh oh. If it's still alive, you can do patrol, but yeah, this this is my mistake. I just run it there. Still fifty seconds. Oh no, that no, that slows it down. You would actually quit the game, not not uh, not go to replay. That was actually a bad game. <laughs> that was a bad game. Very slow. But at the 20 minute mark, you can see that we are indeed level 8 outplayed. Feels bad, man. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I just had to switch screens so you can see what's going on. And right as I switch screens, of course I make a mistake. But, yeah, this is why I'm, I keep saying the key here is consistency. That will slow down the overall time a bit. So I think that well, instead of 1 minute and 10 seconds, or 1 hour and 10 minutes, the overall time now will be 1 hour and something like. 12 minutes. It doesn't sound like much, but when you're grinding 54 prestigious, the one minute of delay that you incur will translate to 54 minutes, which is about an hour. You'll be delayed by about an hour for each little mistake you do. If if you don't do it, uh, if you do that mistake consistently, and what you want to do is just 38 seconds. Look at that. This ally is amazing. Row 2 is amazing, guys. Find an ally like Row 2 who has level 90 Karax, and this is your ticket to prestiging. I know there are a few guys who already have all 54 prestigious on one server done, and congrats to them. They probably used a variation of this method, or they do a really fast snap like Cradle or not Cradle of Death, Sky the Famon, or Lock and Load with an Abathur partner who just carries them to victory, but still the fastest by far by far if you do uh, if you do a, a sky the fame on grind i think it takes about two hours two or three hours ish to get from level one to level 15. this method with the war chest bonus takes about more than slightly more than an hour if you have a holiday bonus on as well while doing this it's it's possible less than an hour just move your truck there put the game right away 22 minutes into the grind, we are level 9. That, 22 minutes in, we're, le we're level 9 already. But I think, yeah, if we reach level 11 before 30 minutes, I think it'll still be possible to complete this grind within an hour. Just take the timestamp in the, uh, just, take, just, ch just check the time on YouTube, guys. I'm checking it on my OBS, right, that says 22 minutes 50 seconds. I've done no edits here. This is just the uh, the power of the grind and the loading time. So now that I now that I uh, now that I uh, I've spoken about it, if you want to, your PC speed does actually matter if you're doing a grind like this and you're trying to rush a command to level fifteen. The best po I've always been I've always been saying that the best possible upgrade you can get for your PC is an SSD because it will actually make these times load faster. This will it will make this loading screen faster. It will not this it will not make the uh, the menu screen faster. Just click leave and just click ready. You will get the exp even even if you do that. Leave and click ready right, right away. And the the SSD this not this is not the SSD's turn. Look at this look at this uh, loading bar guys. Look at how look at how slow it takes. Uh, this is with an SSD. Without an SSD, it takes slightly longer. But again, each second adds up. When you uh, when you get delayed by a minute in a single game, you're, if you get delayed by about a second in a single game, you will get delayed about forty seconds to a minute in a grind like this. It will it will actually slow you down. It is actually noticeable. Every second counts in this kind of uh, in this kind of grind, which is why I did really feel bad when I messed up that game where I was transitioning screens uh, between the uh, the stream screen for the Cradle of Cax grind. And I actually wonder if it's possible to get sub 38 seconds. In the, in the tons of grinding I've done, 38 is the fastest I've seen. I actually wonder if it's possible to get 37 seconds if I really concentrate and just as soon as I see the, uh, the bar go up, just leave right away. Or even the, uh, the, the text here at the side, when it, says, when it says 2 out of 2, just leave right away. It's uh, it's a challenge. 
but it's also quite boring. You see, only 25 minutes into the game, and some of you probably already clicked to the end. Some of you probably already uh, are watching this at double speed and hearing me uh, talk in a funny way. But yeah, that, that is probably what I do as well, to be honest, because this is quite repetitive. And yeah, 38 seconds. Incredible. How does my alley do it? So consistent. I've, uh, I've done 38 seconds once or twice, but my time is consistently around 40-ish seconds. 39, 40, 41. Average of about 40 seconds is my, is my own time. So that's about A rank on average. Row 2 does this 38 seconds consistently. I don't know how he does it. I, I'm, very, I'm very happy to be donating to his, uh, malaria, to his malaria charity because of how fast he does this. So, my standing offer by the way is only for the NA server because I do actually stand to earn uh, I do actually stand to earn from it because I do videos of the prestigious. But once I finish with the NA server, the, the, uh, the standing offer will probably no longer be standing. Because, uh, yeah, I no longer will stand to earn money from additional prestiges at that point. That, 38 seconds. I probably could have been faster. If I racked a little faster, that might have been 37. Let's try, oh, level 10. I, had le I just, level, just hit level 10. A 26 minute mark. Looking at this, uh, I do think it's possible to hit an hour. J to complete the grind within an hour. What do you think, guys? Maybe I should premiere this. If you're watching this pr on a premiere, do you guys think I'll actually be able to hit this in an hour? <laughs> that being said, would people actually watch a premiere of just me talking and just grinding this out? I think I don't know. Is it actually good content? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Uh... <laughs> By the time. By the time this goes live, it's probably no longer uh, a suspense. But yeah, I actually wonder if it's a good idea to premiere this. I would like to give people the option to just speed this up. 39 seconds. S rank. Very good. Lock and load is fast. If you're grinding on the solo queue, I do not. Ab I absolutely do not recommend lock and load, because. The allies on lock and load, I notice, tend to tend to tunnel vision on the bonus. It's their right, it's absolutely their right to tunnel vision on lock and load. But you need to make them aware that what they're doing is actually slowing down the grind. They're, if they're aware, that's good. If they're aware that they're slowing it down and they're still going for it, it's, it's fine. Because at least they know that they're slowing it down. But if they don't know, it's a good idea to enlighten them that... When they throw away, when they spend, for example, I've had, a, I've had a game where at the 12 minute mark, I was already standing at the last lock, capping it, waiting for my ally. And he was throwing, he was leveling up his Kerrigan. He was throwing forces at the, uh, at the construct over and over again. And he did eventually get it, but the game dragged out all the way to 18 minutes. I would have helped him, but I was busy. Uh, cleaning up the, the new attack waves that kept trying to uh, trying to capture the locks that we already captured. So he was busy tunnel vision at the bonus. I was busy cleaning up the attack waves to keep our captured locks captured, and I was still standing at the last objective. So my allies, my allies' uh, decision making costs about six minutes, and six minutes in a 12 minute game is delaying that by 50%. Imagine that guys. You delayed the time by 50% to get additional 2%, no 10% EXP. That's very inefficient. In the long run, if you're grinding a commander level 15, that will actually heavily slow you down because yeah, 50 seconds is not good. If, if you're gonna play a map and make it last for 18 minutes, you might as well do, you might as well get the random mission bonus. Because 18 minutes is right about as fast as, for example, a Scythe of Amon game if you're using a level 90 commander. 
It's about as slow as a Rift to Coral game. Yeah, again, uh, it's completely well within your rights to do it slowly. It's just when you're grinding, when you're grinding, it is inefficient and you do waste a lot more time. For me, my time actually matters to me a lot. My time matters to me a lot because on top of on top of co-op grinding, on top of uh, my uh, on top of making having to make videos, on top of having to test out the prestigious for each commander before making said videos, before because I tend to get I tend to get blasted in the comments a lot by people who uh who just prestige up one commander. They just prestige up that one commander and they play that commander all day long. And they see me, who just playing that commander at that prestige for the first time, and they go, "Oh, you, 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 you're not doing this right." And I probably am not, but can you please at least say it in, in a in a less aggressive way, because it does get to me the comments because I read all the comments. So yeah, I I do I do actually appreciate backseat gaming, especially if it is true that I have the, I have the, I don't have experience, uh, using a particular style. Usually, when, when people backseat game me, they're just wrong because I usually I usually do have more experience with co-op than most people. But for the prestigious, yeah, it does make sense that a new weird style will probably uh, will probably have the experience bar tilt the experience needle tilt toward uh, the backseat gaming guy who just prestige up that one commander who's doing that one style. So yeah, I do appreciate, look, look at that, level level already, and we're only at the 31 minute mark. I think it's a bit close, guys. I think it's possible to do it in an hour. It'll be close. It'll be close, guys. We have to do this more consistently, just avoid that one gaff I had of delaying them out by 10 seconds, and we should be fine. It's, it'll, it'll be very close. The reason I say that level 10 or 11 is the halfway point is because the EXP, the EXP requirement to get to the next level goes up the higher up you go. So at around level 14, it takes 6 or I think 6 games with the holiday bonus and the war chest bonus to get to level 15. So now without the holiday bonus, it'll take around six or seven games so that's about an extra two minutes because again a minute for the game another minute for the loading screen and the menu screen this is where this is where a super fast ssd for both allies will come in handy because that will actually decrease the time i can't believe i've been talking 32 33 minutes straight well i'm actually hungry right now uh it's uh, 709 where i live and i've been up for usually i wake up about 3 a.m but lately I've been busy with real work. I've actually been doing overtime, so I haven't been able to do this grind as much as I wanted to. Uh, I've been doing overtime not just for my work, but for my father's work. You, so you play a lot of Brutal Plus 6? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can actually chat with your ally. It's my favorite. It's my favorite difficulty. <laughs> and then this. Oh. Nah, that's a bit of a mistake, but I think my ally can do it. Yeah, 38 seconds, not a problem. <laughs> Brutal Plus is my, my favorite difficulty, guys. I play a lot, I lose a lot, I lose all the time, but I get EXP for it. So we're halfway from level 11 to level 12, 30, 34 minutes in. It's gonna be close, guys. It's gonna be close. If you're watching this on our premiere, place your wagers now on whether I will be able to meet this within an hour or not. I think I think at the last level I I'll just do my outro, I'll just do my outro and end the game right as I hit level fifteen prestige, and just have the time speak for itself. If it's within an hour at least, if I, if it goes past an hour, I think it will have uh, I think we'll have a little bit more wiggle room, just because the goal here is to do it within an hour. Imagine if you are able to complete all your uh, the prestige actually. The prestige actually is so grindy that even doing this method, it's still... Imagine, if you take an hour to do all commanders on a server, it'll take you 54 hours, which is still two days of non-stop grinding. It's very grindy. It's so 
it's so monotonous and dull that you have to find other ways to entertain yourself. Yeah, what I've been doing is have music on or watch a Twitch stream, or even uh, I have a work from home setup. So what I do is I do my work while grinding. If I can sneak away with, it, of course, in a meeting. If I'm in a meeting, of course, this is not this is out of the question. If I'm trying to rush something, again, out of the question. If I'm uh, if I'm only uh, doing my regular work, yeah, sure, this is this is possible. If I'm doing a yeah project PowerPoint and Excel, sure, I can do this. But yeah, meetings don't do don't do don't me don't do this in the meeting, guys. <laughs> Absolutely out of the question. Okay. Ali does that, and then 38 seconds. Oh, mistake. Bad. <laughs> I'll have to cut that. That that costs around 10 seconds of uh of just UI UI loading. And again, like I said, each second costs us time. So we like to minimize those as much as possible. 36 minutes in, level 11. I think by about 40 minutes, I can go up to level 12. So I have 20 minutes to get 3 levels. It's gonna be close, guys. I do hope that I get in an hour so that I can have that flashy, uh, that flashy uh, thumbnail. That flashy thumbnail that reads Level 1 to 15 co-op in under 1 hour. Again, guys, this is with the war chest on. And Darth was gracious enough to, uh, to basically gift me the war chest. He's he's already supporting supporting a pulse cannon here, and now he's gifting and now he gifted me the war chest. He even he was even gracious enough to offer to uh to offer to pay people who helped me grind to help me grind. And I told him, you don't need to do this, man. You've already helped me so much. Level twelve already. We're not even forty minutes in the game. We're level twelve already. Yeah, thirty seven minutes into the into the grind. We're at level twelve. I, I think it's gonna be close. I think we have a real shot now. Now that we've uh, now that we've hit level twelve, I think it's really uh, it's really within shot or within within uh, within vision range within vision range. Yeah, it's within laser drill range, you guys. <laughs> of course, the laser drill in cop has about five hundred range, so everything is in everything is within laser drill range. So that was a joke, guys. Laugh, laugh at my funny joke, please laugh at my funny joke, guys. I work hard on these jokes. I need them to feed my family. Actually, actually, it was just uh, yeah. <laughs> Alice is gonna go to my truck first. If you're Carax, by the way, you wanna go to your to whoever spawns to whichever side spawns the truck first. If your side spawns it first, go there. If your ally, if your truck, if your truck spawns first, go there. Basically, you wanna do this as fast as possible, and the truck that spawns first usually reaches and disables the. Uh, the con its size construct first. So if you're a Carax and you want to ma maximize or make your time as efficient as possible, just go to which whichever side uh, has its truck spawn first. Just yeah, go there and orbital strike it down. Eight orbital strikes will will destroy the construct. So just hold shift and click eight times. That will destroy the construct, and then switch over to the ally side. Click that eight times, and then move your truck over to that side. And once the uh, once the circle, once the timer appears, once the once the uh, the detonation bar appears, just leave right away. Yeah, thirty eight seconds, the fastest possible time. At thirty nine at the thirty nine minute mark, we are halfway from level twelve to level thirteen. I think at at the forty minute mark, we'll be halfway. From the, I mean, yeah, right, right around this. Right around this, so it's gonna be close, guys. It is exciting. I think whether we whether we get an hour of time or not will depend on whether at level fourteen the last game, the last game is at ninety nine percent or at ninety or at ninety percent. Because I think yeah, that does the extra game will cost about two minutes. I think it will come down to the last two minutes. This is exciting, guys. I get excited. If you can do the math, you can probably do the math right now. From level 1 to level 15, it takes about 1045,000 EXP. So 1,045,000. So 
to get to level 15. I'm earning EXP at the rate of about, let's call it 15,000. 15,000 EXP per minute. So 15,000 times 60. I can't, I can't math guys. Oh, actually I can't open Excel. 15,000 times 60. That's about 900,000, 900,000 per hour. So yeah, I need to be faster. I need to earn EXP faster than 15,000 per minute in order to be able to do this at about uh, 1,045,000 EXP per hour. I should actually just do the math. If, if level 1 to level 15 is 1,045,000 EXP, I'll do the math after my truck gets in so I don't get delayed because I'm in a race here. I need to get, <laughs> I, I, I'd like to get uh, this done in about an hour. Okay. Wait for the, uh, the, uh, the menu screen. Leave it ready. Okay. Plus 1045 divided by 60. We'll need to grind about 17,416. 17,416 EXP per minute. I'm not sure if my rate is that, but I think it's close. Get exciting, guys. Uh, yeah. So wait, wait, which which mutation here do you guys uh, fear getting most? I think, I think uh, the mass manufacturing one is going to be quite, quite difficult to do with many commanders, and uh, I do think that I will be forced, for the sake of my sanity, to just do a game, just play a game normally of that. And just record the results from replay. I think this could be the sanest way to do it because I think I'll, I'll I might just lose my sanity. Imagine doing, imagine doing mass manufacturing while speaking with six different commanders before the mutation even goes live, and then you have to do it for another four times for each server. I have four servers, guys. NA, Southeast Asia, uh, Europe, and. Korean server, Asian server, so my, my priority is the NA server because that's where I have the star levels and Asia server because that's where I do the uh, the Monday videos and I feel like I should have started with Asia server because that's actually the, 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 worst, the worst state I'm in, wake up at 2am, very tired, very much sleep deprived and I'm doing a mutation while speaking. <laughs> It's it's not it's not very it's not an easy thing to do guys. Please forgive me. Whenever uh whenever I sound salty or whenever I uh I don't play well in my Monday videos but it, because it is quite difficult to do at 2 a.m. on like for that 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 last video where I teamed up with Tombo on uh on coordinated defense, I was on four hours of sleep. Because the day before I was still writing stuff up and I was still grinding. Level 13 guys. 43 minutes, it will be close. At level 13, when I had the uh, when I had the uh, the uh, holiday bonus on, it took about 11 games. Five games from 13, 13 to 14, and six games from 14 to 15. So extrapolate that. 11 games should be right about 15 minutes. It's gonna be close, guys. This is, I think I think whether or not we get the uh, the the one hour time will depend heavily. On whether, on whether it's tw eleven games or twelve games. If it's eleven games, I think we'll. I think we got it. If it's twelve games, I think we'll barely miss it. Let's do this. One of the biggest mistakes you can possibly make here, if you're the level E, is leaving the game before before the timer starts. I've actually done that a few times. In a normal grind, it's fine because you lose a minute. It's not that big of a deal. But when you're on the timer, when you actually want to get this. Love, when you're actually doing in a challenge to grind from level one to level fifteen in about an hour, it, it gets a lot it gets a lot crazier. Every mistake counts, so I can actually feel the mistake of that that time that one run where I delayed it for about fifty seconds and, and that run ended up about C rank. That was actually uh, that was actually scary. Okay, forty four minutes in. 44, uh, it's close to 45 minutes at level 13. If, uh, 
if we get to level 14 by the 50 minute mark, I think we're in good shape. Still gonna be close. We're still gonna have to perform consistently. Right around the 38 to 40 second mark per game. But it's a lot more in sight now. There we go, 40 second. A rank, very good. Not godlike, but very good. Level 13. Ooh, have 5 minutes. That's about uh, at the rate of 20,000 EXP. It's about 3 more games. No, 4 more games actually. 4 more games. We'll just barely not reach level 14. Oh boy, it's gonna be close, guys. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting worried. I might actually not hit an hour. Because, yeah, 50 mid, each game takes about. Uh, well, the game itself is 30 to 40 seconds, but the loading time and the menu time really eat into our, eat, eat into our speed. Maybe if we had a super SSD, this would be. I can guarantee this an, this an hour. Just get to the next game right away. Imagine if StarCraft had the loading screen. Oh, that'd be the best. I think the, I, I think they changed them into 1v1. Having the start timer is good. So you can good luck up into your ally. And uh, get your get ready to split your workers. And know your know where you spawn, know your know where your opponent spawns, have your scouting patterns, have prepared to make your uh, your camera locations, that'd be really good. Okay. 46 minute mark. It's gonna be close, guys. Three more games until level 14. I think it's a bit close. It's gonna be very close. My ally is also, is also actually gaining levels. Have you been keeping track of how much he's leveled? I think he started about 221 at the start of the video. I, I, I already forgot. I think it was about 221. If you're right, already watching this on the video on YouTube, just go back to the start, see what level he is. He has been leveling. I think uh, for someone without a war chest, you'll stand to get about 3 levels, 3 ascension levels from this. So this will help out your ascension grind. Although I don't really grind ascension personally. It does nothing. It's just a fancy number, and it's just to give players something to uh, to work towards. 38 seconds, good, amazing, incredible, godlike. A little god tasteless. Two more games, yeah, I think we'll just barely not reach uh, level 14 in this next game. Has to be worried, because we're up to 47 minute mark. Three minutes to get two games in. Oh, it's gonna be close. Gonna be so close. I'm getting. I'm getting worried. So, yeah, I think it takes about two minutes from start to finish, from from loading screen to loading screen, or uh, from uh, from menu to menu, or a single game. It'll be close, guys. I actually would prefer if my truck spawned first, so my ally doesn't have to do the patrol thing. He is very good at it, but that one second, that one second per game could actually cost us the one hour. Let's do this. Oh, 38 seconds. Incredible. That's the best possible time. Which other mutators would scare me? This one doesn't scare me, enter the Nexus. I'll just have Vorazun use time stop. Although, for other commanders, yeah, that might scare me. Blasting off again, that one doesn't scare me. Well, off, off one mind, this one's gonna be difficult to do, so I do mean it when I say that you have five weeks to find a mutation partner. Boom bots, boom bots require teamwork because you will have to uh, tell your ally the code while he the code while he defuses it, and your ally will help tell you his code while you defuse it. Polarity, obviously, uh, you will need to attack and defend the same spot at all times. And Sharing is cutting. <laughs> Sharing is cutting. It is a uh, forced co op because you will have to make sure that you are not supply blocking your ally constantly. And your ally is not, to blocking, not, not supply blocking you constantly, which is why I recommend doing a hero solo for that, uh, for that mutation. Hello, Darkness Meld friend. It's gonna be, this one's gonna be easy. Just do one of the cheeses I mentioned here. I will have the cheeses on the video. So. Yeah, that'll be a guide for you. Multitasking trainer. This one. Anytime I see void rifts, I get stressed out because oh, level fourteen. We hit, we hit we hit level fourteen. Let me uh, switch back here. 
We hit level 14 and we're not even at the 15 minute mark. Well, we're almost at the 15 minute mark, but it, it, it gives me hope. We can do it, guys. But yeah, as I mentioned, the multitasking trainer for Void Rifts. Yeah, that's gonna be stressful for me because it is APM taxing. And one of the things that's hard to do when you are talking in a video is keep up the APM. It's actually difficult, it's actually wild to talk in co-op while playing a mutation. It's insanely difficult. So yeah, that, that one scares me. It's probably doable with an Abathur if I had, for example, uh, a Han and Horner ally who does help and who actually clears out, helps clear it out. Uh, a hero solo Kerrigan would also work with Omega Worms to help with mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Beggars can't be choosers is something I, f I feel that will be annoying. I'll definitely recommend Statboy for that one. If you have Nova, it should work fine as well for Hero Solo. But you have to be fast. Because Lock and Load is a map that's easy if you complete in 12 minutes, but difficult if you, if you delay past the 14 minute mark. Because the enemy will start sending capture waves constantly. So the faster you do it, the easier it is. The fewer waves you'll ultimately have to end up fighting. And that's the, that's the essence of speedrunning. That's why it looks easy when speedrunners do it. Because they, they figured out how to beat it early. So they don't have to beat it late. That's, uh, that's the, that's the, uh, the speedrunner's way. Alright, 51 minutes. Or, uh oh, I think, I, think it's, I think we can actually do it, guys. 51 minutes. And we're already halfway from level 14 to level 15. As long as you don't make a major mistake, I think we've got this in the bag. Please don't, please don't jinx it, please don't jinx it. But I think, I think, yeah, I think we'll, we're, we're well on our way to the complete this within an hour. Ooh, it's gonna be close, guys. It is gonna be close. Alright, guys, let's focus. Let's focus on the last few minutes of this. Okay. Right click the truck to follow, the, the workers will tank for the truck. Again guys, remember to set it at, uh, at retry brutal plus, so you get the same mutators, the same good rule. Once you find a good rule, just do retry brutal plus. Don't queue for brutal plus 6 again, or it'll randomize, it'll re-randomize the set of mutators you had, and possibly give you a, a set that is bad for grinding. Okay. Yeah, we're close. 52 minutes in. Okay, just keep focusing and we can get a good time. Can get a good time. Can you guys hear the construction noise outside? Uh, one, of th one of the reasons why I like recording at 3 a.m. is because it's the most quiet time. It's the most quiet time around the house. There are no people watching TV, no people complaining about stuff, yelling, no construction noise most importantly. No, no random motorcycles revving their loud engines in the background. Man, it's so annoying. So, as, as someone who does video videos uh, on YouTube, it is very annoying when people just rev their motorcycles or cars outside and just act like it's totally fine. The worst, the worst thing about this is I usually record my videos at 3 a.m. So when you, when you are that loud at 3 a.m., you're just an absolute jerk in my opinion. Could be wrong, but I do think you're an absolute jerk if you rev your motorcycle at 3 a.m. Why would you do that even? Why? What is the point? You just try to wake people up. Oh, we're getting close though. 53 minutes, 54 minutes. It's gonna be close. Okay, consistency. Consistency, guys. Let's do this. Can we actually do this sub one hour, even without the holiday bonus? Stay tuned to find out. I think it'll come down to whether the last game, uh, to whether it takes 6 games or 7 games to get from 14 to 15. Okay. Ooh, yes, 38 seconds. Excellent. Excellent. We're close. We're close, team. Ooh, I think that's... It takes... 16,000? I think we got this, guys. Oh, this is the last game. Oh, yes! 
Oh, we'll do it in an hour, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea of what else I can do, please leave that in the comment. So, let's just wait for the last game. And yeah, uh, this is how you grind a commander from level 1 to level 15 in the fastest time possible. I do, ha I do hope that I've been uh, helpful for you guys. I imagine that watching, watching the same thing over and over again for an hour it gets repetitive. But at least it, it was... B below an hour. I'll stop the video right as I get level 15 to get the time. To get the time accurate. I think the total mission time is definitely below an hour. Okay. 39 seconds. Oh boy. Oh boy. 55 minutes. Alright guys. Level 15. See you.